So this is question one of the um, first uh, of the paper, practice exam. Active First Proprietary Limited is a sports goods retailer. On the 30th of June 2011, Active First Proprietary Limited's cash at bank ledger had a balance of 43,210. The bank statement for the month of June showed a balance of 54,321 credit. After checking the, and comparing the bank records, the active first proprietary limits accounting records, the following differences were found. Cash receipts for 30th of June recorded in the companies were 1,039. This amount does not appear in the bank statement. The bank returned a dishonoured cheque of 1,982. The total amount of cheques still outstanding at the 30th of June was $800. The bank collected customer deposits of 13,565. Um, the bank government charges of 224 appeared in the bank statement. This amount does not appear in the company records. And cash sales of 4,967 on the 23rd of June were deposited in the bank. The company made an incorrect cash receipt of 4,976. The active bank credit first for the correct amount. Okay, so it says now prepare a cash at bank ledger account for first active proprietary limited as at the 30th of June 2010. You can use either T format or ledger account running balance. Okay? Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that first entry. All right. The running balance is the one you put like cash. Running balance is just down the page. Okay. T account is across the page. Okay. okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a T account because that's the way I grew up. And cash at bank is the title I put on top. And I'm going to draw right across the page. And I'm going to draw down the page. Now from my records it says that my bank ledger has a debit balance of 43,210. 43,210. And that's at the 30th of the 6th. Now let's have a look. Okay. We've got cash receipts on the 30th June record and the company's record were 1,039. This amount does not appear on the bank statement. Okay, that'll be a reconciling item. Okay, for my bank reconciliation. The bank returned a dishonoured cheque for 1,982. Well, this means that I need to take into consideration this one because this is now a record that's in the bank statement that's not in my company records. So let's have a look on the 30th or the 6th. So what's a dishonoured cheque like that is not valid? cheque means that, uh, yeah, it ca we put it into our bank account but the customer didn't have the proper funds. So therefore it's now got been taken out of our bank account. Okay. okay? So that means we're going to credit balance. And I'm going to put dishonour. <coughs> check. And that's CHQ means check. And it was for $1,982. i just slide that over a little bit. Alright, so that takes care of number two. The total amount of checks still outstanding at the 30th of June were 800 now that's a reconciliation item as well because that means that it, there's nothing wrong with that transaction so I need to include it between the two. Alright, the bank collected customer direct deposits of 13,565. So that means the bank's got some deposits that I haven't got in my ledger. So direct deposits And how much was it? 13,565. 13,565. And I'll tick off that as being done. The bank and government charges of $224 appeared in the bank statement. This does not appear in the company records. Okay, so now I have to put this one into the company records. This is a, uh, well, an outflow. So it is uh, bank and government charge 
224. So it takes care of number five. And cash sales are 4,967 on the 23rd of the June were deposited in the bank. The company made an incorrect cash receipt of 4,976. So what's the difference between that and that? Uh, $9. Okay. So we've got a difference of $9 here. So I've got to correct that in my company accounts. Uh, it was this, and I so I've got to make a debit, a credit balance change. Sales correction. Yeah, it is minus nine, so I put it on my credit side, which means it's an outflow of cash. Debit side in cash and bank is inflow of cash. Now, I haven't brought my calculator with me, so who's fast on the calculator? Can someone give me a total here? Uh, what do we got? Five, seven, seven, six, five. All right. Don't need a calculator. Five, six, seven, seven, five. So what's my balance carried forward? Or closing balance? What's it? What's five, six, seven, seven, five minus nine minus two hundred and twenty-four minus nineteen eighty-two? Can anyone tell me? I have to add that one up in my head too. That's my balance, and I bring that balance down to this side, so that becomes my opening balance. Which is 54560. <laughs> All right, so that's my opening balance. So that's recreating my bank balance. So it's my correct bank balance. Now question B says prepare a bank reconciliation for uh, Active First Proprietary Limited. So I've done part, that's A. Is that the only one? Yeah, that's at the moment, that's the only one. All right, now, bank reconciliation. Bank reconciliation uh, as at 30th of the 6th, 11. For active first proprietary limited. Okay? Alright. So we're preparing a bank reconciliation now. So what I'm looking for now is my, now it said my bank balance at the, at the end of the month was this, so we always start with our bank balance. And it is how much? 5,000, thank you very much Alex. 321. That's my balance. And now I need to put in items that were not in my um, ledger account or items that are in my ledger account but not in my bank statement. And the first thing is I add my deposits not credited. Now this is deposits that I've put through my ledger account but haven't gone through my bank account. Uh, now where are we here? Cash receipts for the 30th of June were recorded in the company records. This does not appear in the bank statement. So it becomes a reconciling item. So I have uh, 1039. 9 and 1 is 0. That's 6. That's 3. That's 5. And that's 5. So 53,600. Now I want to deduct Oops, I'll slide that up. D, D, U, C. What about the number 
Hang on, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Deduct um, my unpresented checks. And my unpresented checks are in number three, which is 800. Now, so I remember which way I'm doing it. I always put brackets around a deduction. So there, it's a mental reminder for me. And then my um, balance as per ledger should be 55,360 minus 800, which makes it uh, 560, 54,560. So that becomes my balance as per ledger. Now I can easily check that to see if I'm right. This balance here should equal this balance here, and it does. So I've recreated my ledger, and I have reconciled my ledger to my bank statement now. Yep, easy, easy. Now the last little bit, it says is C, uh, I'll do C, list and explain two reasons why the use of bank, of a bank contributes significantly to good internal controls. I think that's supposed to say bank reconciliation. So we'll put in a bank reconciliation there. Uh, contributes to significant use of good controls. Well I've got a couple. Uh, good controls. Anyone can tell me? I don't know, maybe it is. Minimise the amount of cash kept on hand. Uh, provides double record of bank transfers. Double. What is it? Minimize cash. Minimize cash that is kept on hand. Provides double record of uh, bank transactions. That is bank, by the way. It's not bank reconciliation. Yeah, remove the reconciliation, that was my mistake. So that's a bank transaction. So one is provided by the bank, one is then provided by the business and helps safeguard the asset cash. So let's see.